With IE upon us, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the event and what to expect. Now for those who don't know, IE stands for Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, and to showcase of all the ships currently in Star Citizen, which takes place in Microtech. Additionally, there will be a free fly from November 18th to 30th, so if you don't own the game yet and you want to try it out, this would be the time. And if you're a new player, I highly recommend you set New Babbage as your spawn point, because that's where the event is. To get to IE, from the hab areas, Go down to the metro loop and take the train on the right. Once the train makes a stop, leave the train and head right towards the stairs. Once you're up the stairs, you'll be in the expo lobby and you can take an elevator to one of the conference halls. Now IE has a schedule where different ship manufacturers will show up every day for 48 hours overlapping each other and nearly all of their ships and vehicles will be available to rent. You'll be able to rent them for 48 hours and it's free. Here's the schedule. Here's what will show up on November 18th. The highlight of this showcase is obviously the Drake Corsair, because it's the newest ship that's been released with IAE. You can only obtain it with real money for $215, but you can rent it for free and try out the ship for 48 hours. The Drake Vulture is also on the show floor, and you can go inside and check it out, but you can't rent it. You can also check out and rent the Drake Cutter, another ship that released with this patch. The Drake Mule can also only be bought with real money, but you can rent it and use it with the Corsair if you want. And you can check out the Kraken at the display hall. Here's what will appear on the 19th. The highlight of this is the 890 Jump because it's the most expensive ship in Star Citizen, but you'll be able to rent it for 48 hours and pretend to be as rich as Elon Musk. Here's what you'll see on the 20th. The highlights are the Hammerhead, which is a big ass gunship, which I think will be fun with friends, and the Vanguard Warden, which is regarded as one of the premier fighters in Star Citizen. Shout out to the Reclaimer, a huge salvage ship, which can't salvage yet until the next patch. Here's what will show up on the 21st. Interestingly, the Gaddock, or Gatak, doesn't have a ship. It has a ship called the Raylan, which is not even in production yet, but the company technically exists in game. Here's what will be shown on the 22nd. The highlights being the Hurricane, another premier heavy fighter, and the Karak, the second most expensive ship in all of Star Citizen. Here's what you'll see on the 23rd. Highlights being the Argo Mole, which is the best mining ship in Star Citizen, and the Grey Cat STV, which you can only buy with real money. Here's what will appear on the 24th. The highlight being the C2 Hercules, the ship with the largest cargo capacity in Star Citizen, which means max profit when it comes to trading. This will debut on the 25th, with the highlights being the Hull A, as this ship can only be bought with real money, and the Starfarer, the only ship that can do ship-to-ship -ship refueling, although that feature isn't that useful right now. On the 26th, RSI will be on the show floor, with highlights including the Scorpius, which can only be bought with real money, and the Mantis. The only ship that can do quantum interdiction. 27th will be the best in show, where the final four ships from this year's ship showdown will be available to rent along with previously available ships. In addition, if you own at least one of those four ships, you'll get a limited edition livery along with the challenge coin, and every backer gets a model of the Karak, the winning ship. The final days of the event will be the finale, where every previously available flyable ship will be available for rental. Now I do have a trick that will allow you to unlock the full potential of your rental ships, which I have shown in a separate video which I will link in the description. During this event, CIG will do limited quantity ship sales, mainly with huge capital ships. Here are the details in regards to these ship sales, what ships you can buy, and when you can buy them. These are the prices I found on the wiki and from previous IEs. Personally, I won't be spending any money on this. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. And while you're here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to help out this channel. That's everything you need to know about IE 2952. But whether or not you're a new player taking advantage of the free fly or an experienced Star Citizen player, I have some tips that will significantly improve your playing experience, which you can watch right here.